horror classic, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 1974. A new record here on the Kidnapper's Corner, going all the way back to 74. Uh, our record before was that episode of Chips from 1982. But uh, we have Marilyn Burns here in this, what was a kind of an independent horror film at the time that was launched into a one of the biggest horror franchises ever. Tons of sequels, tons of remakes. Um, actually, one of the remakes has a nice scene in it as well that uh, maybe next year we'll do. And if you're thinking, well, you didn't get to my favorite horror film scene, well, like Halloween will come next year and the year after that. Got to have, got to have material down the road, so I can't get everything in this year. Um, but this was for uh, Ron Garrett, probably our biggest fan or one of them. Um, yeah, this goes way back. Uh, basically, all of her friends have been killed, and her brother and. She finds out that the gas station guy is part of this crazy family. It's a really strange film. Um, I gotta be honest, I actually just this past week watched it for the first time all the way through. I had seen parts of it many times. Um, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm a Freddy guy and a Jason guy. Um, and I have not seen most of these sequels. But uh, it's a weird movie. It really is. Uh, really disgusting movie too. Um, that's based off somewhat true events. I don't think the family like that is real. I think there was a guy that killed people. Um, but uh, unique scene here: the gas station guy stuffs her mouth, ties her hands with a rope. Hard to believe he didn't have any duct tape in the garage. But this is back in the 70s. Uh, you know, tape gags weren't as popular back then. But, uh, yeah, the, and then he bring, they bring the grandfather down, which turns out to actually be alive, which I, I found shocking. I would have sworn they were both dead. I guess the grandmother's dead, but the grandfather's still alive, and he's totally mutated. I don't know. It's a ridiculous film. Um, I always, you can hear me laughing in the video. I always laugh whenever the brother yells at Leatherface. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they have her for dinner, basically, and she gets out, and that's how the movie ends, so we'll go ahead and take a look at these scenes.
So yeah, pretty uh, pretty gross, gruesome scenario there. Uh, certainly more scary than most of the scenes we go through, and uh, you know, less uh, less mainstream, so to speak. You know, typical kidnapped hostage type crime crime show scenario like we do here on our show, on our original episode. Speaking of, a couple days left for the ambushed episode. Sign up through Patreon. Um, but uh, yeah, good good horror film scene here. Uh, legendary legendary film. But uh, that's the finale for the horror film week. I do have a bonus video coming for you on the 30th. The night of the 30th, the night before Halloween, which is uh, Devil's Night. We have a bonus video coming for that. And we'll have a different theme next week. Um, yeah, you'll get some really good scenes next week as well. So, subscribe down there. Like down there. Thanks.